Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find a formula for the nth derivative of this function. So here k is a constant. So to do this, uh, we'll just start taking derivatives and see what happens. So the first derivative, f prime of x, let's work that out. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So here it's e to the kx. So you're going to use the chain rule. It'll be e to the kx. That's the derivative of the outside. And you leave your inside piece untouched. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of kx is just k. And the reason is um, the derivative of x is 1. So you just get k times 1, so you get k. It's like if it was 2x, you would get 2. If it's 3x, you get 3. Because it's kx, you get k. Again, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here your outside function is e to the x, and your inside function is kx. The chain rule says you take the derivative of the outside, you leave the inside untouched, and then times the derivative of the inside, which is k. This is k e to the kx. I'm already kind of seeing a pattern. I don't know if it's going to work, but look, first derivative, there's a 1 here. <laughs> let's, let's try. Let's take the derivative again, f double prime of x. So now the k again hangs out, it's a constant, because k hang, it's a number, so it just stays there. And then the derivative of e to the kx is e to the kx times the derivative of the inside, which again is k. Now we can multiply the k's, so we get k squared e to the kx. Ah, it's working, look at that, second derivative, there's a 2. Let's do one more, just to make sure, f triple prime of x. That k squared is a constant, because k is a constant, so it hangs out. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's going to be the chain rule again, e to the kx times the derivative of kx, which is just k. Multiplying the k's, we get k cubed, e to the kx. And so now uh, we have a formula, which we can guess will be the nth derivative of our function is going to be k to the n e to the kx. And that would be the formula for the nth derivative. You could prove this, by the way, um, using the method of uh, math principle of mathematical induction. But in this problem, they just wanted us to come up with a formula. They didn't say prove it or anything. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.